Hi friends, our today's topic is syllogism and syllogism is one of the very important topic in reasoning as it comes for 5 marks in all the exams let it be competitive exams or the placement trainings or any kind of exams conducted in India. So let's try to understand the concept and try to solve few of the questions. So in syllogism a statement will be given and then conclusion will be also given and then in the question they will ask which conclusion is true suppose conclusion 1 conclusion 2 and conclusion 3 so you have to tell which which conclusion is true so let's understand the concept first and then solve one question so in surrealism we use Venn diagram to solve the question okay so what is Venn diagram so suppose you have a statement some cat or dog so for this we need to draw the diagram. So how to draw a diagram for some cats or dog? So we will draw two circles. In one we will write cat and one we will write dog. So you see some part of dog. See this is complete dog, right? And what we are seeing some part of dog in the circle of cat and some part of cat. See this is the total part of cat, right? So in some part of cat what we are seeing is, is in the dog. So the, this part is getting said by cat and dog. This we also can say this is the sad part. Yes or no? So the dog part is getting said in cat and the cat part is getting said in the dog. So if any diagram we have to make some cats are dog. So we can make it like this, right? So some part of dog will be said with cat and some part of cat will be said with, said with the dog, right? Now in the same thing, if they're telling all cats are dog so how will you draw you see all cat means first you draw a circle for the cat and then this all those cats whatever cats are there is, is inside the dog right see all cats are dogs so all cats are inside the dog see if I am saying all members of all members are inside the house so what I will do suppose this is my house this is my house so where will be the members so member will be inside the house in the similar way so all members is inside the house so house will be outside right so only we can say that all the members are inside the house right okay so th third diagram is is suppose they are telling no a or b if no a or b means a and b there is no relation suppose this is a and this is b so we can say there is no relation between A and B. In that case only we can say no A or B. And from here we can also say no B or A. Yes or no? See because if you are saying no A or B means if there is no relation between A and B then definitely B also does not have any relation with A. Right? Okay. Now in the case one see some cats are dog. So if some cats are dog if some part of cat is dog then I can also say some dogs are cat why because the said person is the see the cat is getting said with dog and the dog is getting said with the cat so we can very well say if some cat are dog then we can also say some dogs are cat right here the same thing if no a or b if a is not getting said with b then I, then i can also say no b or a right now in this case you see all cats are dog so if you are saying all cats are dog right then you see some part of dog right some part of dog is also touching cat see the outer side of dog the outer part of the dog is not getting said by anything but the inner part of dog is getting said with cat so if you are saying all cats are dog then we can also say very well some dogs are cat see we cannot say if all cats are dog we cannot say all dogs are cat the reason is the reason is because some part of dog will be outside which is not inside the cat right so here I will write it once more if you are saying some a or b then you can very well say some b or a because it is getting said yes or no now if you are saying all a or b then you can only say some b or a the reason is the outer side of B will not be said with the A, right? And if you are saying some B or A, then you can also say some A or B. Now, third number, if this is A, this is B and this is C, if you are saying no A or B, 
then you can also very well say no b r a right now question number 1 all fans are switches right so how can we draw this diagram all fans are switches means all fans should be inside what switch yes or no okay now some switches are bulb means this switch some part of switch will be what bulb so i drew it here and no bulb is tube means bulb and tube there will be no relation see this is bulb and tube there will be no relation between bulb and tube so this is my venn diagram which i drew it here yes or no okay now the conclusion is some bulbs are switches so you see bulbs and switches is there any relation yes see some part of switch is getting uh, in some see some part of switch is getting shared with bulb and some part of bulb is getting shared with the switch so here some switches are bulb and some bulbs are switches both will be true right so i can say yes some bulbs are switches is true right now some switches are tubes so see switch and tube is anything is getting shared see switch is here and tube is here nothing is getting shared between switch and tube so some switches are tubes are false and my answer will be conclusion 1 is true and conclusion 2 is false right thanks for watching the video